on board heading up the Detroit River, five of them children. The watercraft capsized just southeast of Gros Eel. Everyone tossed into the water, but two of the passengers never made it to safety. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kernzler has been on the scene all day. Jim, what can you tell us about the recovery mission at this hour? On the search continues here offshore. Take a look. They're about a quarter of a mile out, maybe a half mile out. They've been searching this general area. You see the boats with the flashing blue lights. Police tell me this is about eight to 10 feet deep of water. They're using sonar. Take a look closer to shore. You see this great boat, gray boathouse. That's owned by the owner of the cabin cruiser, Rob Childs. He also lives in one of these houses overlooking the river with his three kids. Two were on board with him last night. They're okay, but it's his body and the body of Father Stephen Rooney they're searching for out here right now. This morning I was sitting on my couch and watching the news and I heard him say Father Stephen Rooney from Trenton and I was devastated. This is Father Rooney who was installed as the new pastor of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Trenton just two years ago. His reach to all people extended well beyond his church. He always wanted to convert me into a, being a Catholic. <laughs> But he said I was okay. <laughs> Grosio police started searching for the two missing boaters last night after the crash. These are pictures of the recovery of the 40 foot cabin cruiser. Witnesses tell police it was going fast northbound in the Detroit River when it swerved, may have hit something or even hit a submerged rock ledge. 14 people were on board, nine adults and five children. Police say one had a broken arm, another had head injuries, but all of the 12 injured have been released from hospitals. The recovery search includes the owner of the boat, Rob Childs, who was president of Alta Equipment. Two of his three kids were on board. Several family and friends came to the home this afternoon, but were too distraught to talk. In a sad twist a year ago, Christina Childs, the wife and mother of the kids, died in the same river. Her death ruled a suicide. Last night, police say during the pleasure trip, speed was a factor. One witness has informed us that the boat may have rolled at least once and, and caused all of the passengers to be ejected from the boat. Police tell me this search and recovery will continue until about sundown tonight, which will be around 8.30, 9 o'clock tonight. Live on Gross Seal, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Tough story this Monday afternoon, Jim. Thank you.